Hi everybody, welcome to another session of our Cap at Home. This is our Chill at Home with Art for our summer sessions. Uh, my name is Miss Rebecca, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to draw these miniature paper houses that you can customize however you want. And then we're also gonna draw some people for you to use in your house if you wanna draw some little people. We're gonna draw these all in paper. So I'm gonna show you how to draw these guys today. Okay, this is what we're gonna be drawing. Um, so when, let me get my area set up and I'll go over the supplies. But while I do that, I want to thank our summer sponsors. We'd like to thank everybody at the College for Creative Studies. And we like to thank everybody at General, Mons uh, General Motors, our summer sponsor, General Motors. Um, we want to th thank them for helping us make these free art tutorials. So the supplies that you need to make your, your paper house, you need some plain drawing paper. Um, I have the sketchbook that I'm gonna to use today. It could be notebook paper, it could be computer paper, whatever you have, some, some drawing paper. You need a pencil, you need a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, it's okay. You can also use a straight edge, like a book or something else that's flat on the side. Uh, you're gonna, probably gonna want an eraser, a pair of scissors, okay? And then I'm gonna use colored pencils. I found colored pencils were the, work the best to color in the house, but you could also use crayons or markers. Uh, Whatever you have is fine. So, um, to make your paper house, this is really simple. First, you're gonna wanna draw on your plain paper or your line paper. Might be easier if you have line paper, you can just use the lines as guides. But you're gonna wanna draw a rectangle that is about five inches wide by five and a half inches tall. That's gonna be the base of your house. So, you're gonna wanna measure out somewhere and I did mine, as you can see in here. I left a little bit of space on the bottom so that I could draw the yard and some things happening outside. So you want if you wanna do that, keep that in mind and draw it maybe not quite at the bottom, uh, maybe just a little bit up from the bottom. So measure out. And about here, I'm gonna make this about five inches wide. And it doesn't matter, really, you could make it as big or as small as you want. It could be, um, wider than this if you wanted or you could just eyeball it it's totally fine um, I just felt like this was a good size to get started so you want it to be five inches wide and then um, five and a half inches tall I felt like this was a good size for me to have enough of the inside of the house um, that I could draw the different floors and things I wanted so what I'm doing is I'm lining up my ruler at the line I just drew down here I'm lining it up on zero and I'm counting out one, two, three, four, five, and then find the halfway mark between five and six. That's five and a half. And I make a little line there. So that's one side of my house like that. I just have the L, okay? And then you need to draw the other side and the, the top. So I'll come to this side of my bottom of my house and I'll do the same thing. I'll line up on zero and I count out one, two, three, four, five, and the halfway mark. Sometimes it says, sometimes it isn't, but if you see five and six, this is the halfway mark right there. So if you wanna be exact, again, it's okay if it's not exactly this size. And I'm gonna come over five inches. I think this was my five inch. Let's see, that wasn't even, let's see, did I go all the way to the five and a half? Nope, I need to go all the way up to five and a half. And then now I just draw the line over at the top. That's the top. So you should have a basic square. You could also just draw this out freehand, but if you want, kind of follow along with me and go to good size, you could do this. So that's my base, right? But now we need a roof. So I like, you could make a pointed roof. You could use your ruler um, for a straight edge, or you could draw this out freehand. I kind of liked, you could, uh, instead of just doing a pointed roof like this, so to draw your roof, just go from, pick the t pick one corner to be your top, line your ruler up, and trace along your ruler or your straight edge to the top. But I kind of liked having, instead of this pointy roof, I liked a flat roof. So kind of have this triangle, but then a little bit ways, a little bit down from the top, I drew a flat line so that I could make a fancy roof. You could do whatever you want. You can customize this. You can make an apartment building. See, kind of like that. And then I'll just erase these lines up here. Um, 
You could make an apartment building, you could make a firehouse, you could make a mansion, you could make a school, make an apartment, yeah, whatever you want. So now I have something like that. So that's the base of my house, okay? So now you're gonna need the different floors, parts of your house. So I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna draw three, I'm gonna draw two lines uh, in the middle of my, I'm gonna draw two lines to be my floors in this rectangle. And you could use a ruler to measure up, it's a, or just eyeball it, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna, you know, you could go at about two inches up. So line your ruler at the base of your house and count one, two, and draw a line here, two inches up. Go straight across if you want to be exact can't really get it wrong it's your house you can customize it however you want and then do another two inches up from there about give or take it's not to be exactly it could be a little bit more a little bit less you could draw you could draw make them shorter and have more floors in the house right so now erase any marks you don't want there's something kind of like that so this will be a really tall house like a fancy house right so those would be the different stories or the floors of your house okay one thing i did on mine if you want you could put some decorate some trim on the top of this so i just drew some shingles kind of just did some use a bunch of use together to be like fancy shingles on the roof of the house this is going to be like if you ever have seen a dollhouse or Maybe you've been to the um, Henry Ford Museum and you've seen those houses, the doll houses there and you can see inside of them. This is kind of what we're drawing. So if somebody took off the side of the house and you could look into it and see what it looks like. So you can draw some kind of fun things like that. So those are the, the shingles of the house. I did on mine, I did some decorated the top of this, top of the roof. You don't have to do this. You could, but I kind of made these fancy. See how I made? these fancy shingles, I, I drew a, a chimney if you want, and down here I drew a fireplace. You can draw these fancy architectural details on the top of your house if you like. To draw those, I just drew a bunch of T's together, or you could just do some lines straight up. I just drew a bunch of lines at the, coming from the top of the roof, like that. And then just draw one line, straight line through it. So it looks like, kind of looks like a bunch of T's, letter T's. To make like, have you ever seen like fancy old houses sometimes have neat trim like that. But you could keep it flat. You could draw a picnic table up there. You could keep it pointy, whatever you feel like. And if you wanted to draw a roof, you could just on one side draw a rectangle, another rectangle on top and maybe some bricks. Right. I mean a roof, a shing, uh, chimney. Did I say roof? I meant chimney. You could draw a chimney like this over here, a rectangle and another rectangle at top to be a chimney. So that's kind of like the bare bones of your house. And then now you get to fill this in however you want. But I suggest the first thing I would do is decide um, on the front, on the bottom level, this is your first level, I would draw a door. Let's draw our front door. I'm gonna put mine right in the middle you don't have to do that. You could put yours off to the side. You can use your ruler for this if you want to make it nice and neat straight lines. Um, you don't have to. I'm going to just draw a freehand. I'm going to draw a frame around my door. Like that. And I drew a doorknob on my door. So first I just drew a rectangle. And then another rectangle for a frame. You can draw a porch. You can make a really big fancy porch. I'm going to draw steps. I'm going to draw fancy steps coming down so just a series of rectangles coming down or my steps to my front porch right and then later we can decorate more on the outside um, and then the next thing you want to do is decide where your stairs are because you have these three different floors and you have to get from one floor to the next so where are your staircase going to be um, in my example I kind of drew the staircase like maybe it came right in just behind the door so maybe it goes I want it to look like it's going back in space a little bit. So I drew it at an angle like this. I drew two lines at an angle coming up. So that's gonna be my staircase. And then I'll just draw lines across for the steps. Okay, that's how we get to the second floor. Now we're on the second floor. We have to figure out where do we want the staircase to be to the third floor. And you can put it anywhere you want. 
no wrong way to put it. I think I'll put mine over here in the corner. Right, and then so maybe just do a couple like zigzags all the way up. So there's the staircase. And then you can decorate the side of this with some pictures or a little door. Maybe there's a door in the staircase, like it's a closet door. And maybe there's a picture frame or something there. Right, however your imagination wants it to look. And then on the second floor, I'm gonna keep my staircase going from here and I'm just gonna go up to the fourth floor of this house. There. So that's my staircase going up. So if they walked here, you can imagine somebody's walking up these stairs like this. Boop, 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 to up here, okay? So then, once you've got that, you can fill in the rooms of your house. What do you, what do you wanna have in your house? You want a kitchen, a dining room, bathrooms, bedrooms, a playroom, a living room. It's a fancy house, you have a library. You know, anything, windows. Um, I'm gonna put a kitchen in mine. Let's see, I'm gonna put a kitchen in a kitchen. I'm gonna give a um, kitchen sink, right? We need to have a sink. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle and maybe here's the cabinet. I need a faucet. Right, something like that. This is my kitchen sink. You need a refrigerator and a stove. I'm gonna draw a refrigerator next to my sink. Right, and that's just another rectangle with a line in it. I drew my refrigerator. The rectangle with a line kind of almost to the top. There's a door handles, so we have a fridge. You need a stove, you need a cook in your kitchen. People need to be able to make food. So again, I just drew a little, um, I drew a rectangle and a square on the inside of that. Kind of looks like a stove and you can color these in later. So here's our stove with the oven door and then the burners. So um, you could draw cupboards. I'm gonna draw some cupboards in mine. I'm just gonna draw a really long rectangle going all the way across and then some lines down the middle for the doors and then you need a handle. Those are my cupboards, okay? So those are kitchen. Um, you can draw, let's see, I'm gonna draw a living room over here. So I'm gonna draw a couch maybe, it's a rectangle. Here's my couch, I'm gonna draw a table. Have fun and then a lamp, I'm gonna put a lamp on my table. Right, maybe a pillow. Okay, so there's my living room. I drew that. Then on this floor, I think I'm gonna draw a bedroom. I'm gonna draw two bedrooms on here. I'll draw a down, line down the middle. I'll draw a bed. Just some rectangles and some pillows on the bed. And I'm gonna draw a bedside table. I'll show you this in a minute. Some more lamps. Really, any way, anything you want to draw. What would you have in your house if you could decorate it, however you wanted? I just drew like these rectangles. There's the bed, the front of the bed, the pillows, bedside table. You could put some art up here, maybe a closet. This is the this is the wall. You could draw a window on the outside. Maybe this is the window. Right. Um, let's see. In this bed, I'm going to draw bunk beds. The other room, I'm going to draw bunk beds. I'm going to draw. The bottom bunk, the top bunk. Let's see, what do bunk beds look like? Maybe this wouldn't be so high. And then the blankets hanging down, and there's the pillow, and here's this, that probably wouldn't be so high. Some blankets hanging down in the pillow. Maybe in here they have, maybe they have a dresser. Do you draw toys in there? So there's the bunk beds. You draw some bunk beds and a dresser, you draw some toys, you know, and then you'll just keep going and you'll fill in your whole house like that. Um, and then you can come when you have everything out, don't forget to do the outside. Maybe you wanna have a yard, maybe there's a pathway with some bushes, you know, or maybe you want some trees or cars or 
whatever you want to, you could take, spend hours just filling this in with all the fun details that you want to have in your house. Um, and then once you get it filled in, I found because mine is so narrow that um, the colored pencils really worked really well. So for example, on my um, shingles, you just go back over your lines that you just did with your colored pencils or crayon. You could even do this right directly with a colored pencil. You wouldn't even have to do it with a regular pencil. It's just if you want to erase it, it's easier to start with a pencil, right? So I just kind of trace over my pencil lines and then I color it in like that. You could draw patterns, you know, on your wall. I'll show you what it looks like colored in. I'll give you an example about each floor. See on this floor I have a kitchen, I have a dining room bedrooms, I drew a bathroom, you need to draw a sink and a toilet and a shower with a shower curtain. Here's a fireplace, here's another bedroom. On the top I made this a, a playroom and a um, living room and that's a TV, that's supposed to be a TV. So, and this is maybe a frame or something, some windows looking outside. So have fun and then you can see in the front yard I drew a pathway with some flowers and bushes and a tree. You know, if I were to do this more, I might add like a swing set or something, some fun things, maybe some, I don't know, maybe they live on a lake and I drew a lake and there's a boat or something. So really have fun and take your time filling in your house. And then you can leave it like this and be done. Or if you want to have little, you want people that live in your house, you can draw these little people. I drew these people. You can see the lights kind of bright. I drew these people that will fit inside the house. I drew some taller people that maybe could be grown-ups. I drew some shorter people that could maybe be kids. You know, I drew this dog. It's hard. You drew this dog and then they fit on the paper. You can, they are small enough to fit inside the house. Yeah, let's see, I'll put him on the staircase. And let's see, I'll put the dog on the bed. You know, maybe this kid's on the bunk bed. So you can draw these little people and you can use them in your house and move them around like it's like that's where they live. So to do that, you just want to get another sheet of paper. And you can draw these in um you can draw them in pencil and then color them in later, or you can just go right in and draw them with colored pencils. So I'm gonna do that today. You can take your time and draw them however you want. Um, you can have more detail, not as much detail. Just remember, the important thing is to remember to keep the scale of them. You don't want them too big um, because they'll be too big for your house. So I'm gonna draw this person. With... I didn't draw too much detail on this because I was in a hurry, but if you wanted to, you could slow down and put more detail with your people. So here's my colored pencils. Again, because I'm working so small, the colored pencils work, but really any, any art supplies you have will be fine. Um, let's see, you could draw a whole family, you could draw a whole neighborhood. If you have a sketchbook, you could fill up your sketchbook with this. The whole city, if you wanted. So draw your people, different sizes, different ages. Maybe it's all kids. Maybe it's only kids that live in this house. That'd be fun. So once you draw, just some base, I'm using basic shapes to draw my people. Again, because it's small. So my people, I just drew some really basic shapes. You can make them a little bit bigger and give them faces or expressions, or you could even give them outfits, if, different outfits if you wanted. And then I found it easiest just to cut a rectangle, cut them out as a rectangle. But if you really have the time and want to get into it, you could cut with really detail. You could cut around. So I just cut them out like this, right? I found this easier to cut a square, a rectangle around them. But if you really wanted to and had the time, you could cut, make the cut a little bit closer so you don't have all this extra paper. That's up to you. And you don't even have to do people if you don't want people. If you just have fun drawing the houses, that's fine too. But you could also cut them out with more more detail like that. And then when you have them all cut out, they can go live in your paper house that you just drew. You could tape it, you could even tape them in there or glue them down if you want them to stay in there forever. Or, you know, let's see, maybe this person's in the kitchen getting a snack from 
the refrigerator. So there you have it. That's how you can make your very own paper house. Lots of fun. There's lots of room for creativity and your imagination and draw whatever you want. You can make your house the wide way if you want. You can make it a circle house. You can make it a tree house. That would be really fun. Lots of fun things you can do from here once you've made this. So once you're done, you definitely want to uh, make sure you clean up your art space because we want to be responsible artists. So put your sketchbook away, collect your little people. You could use an envelope. You could store, if you make little people, you could make cars for them, accessories, animals. Collect them in maybe an envelope. I have this, this jar, this glass jar I put them in, but envelope works too, or another piece of paper, fold them up inside of there. You want to put away all of your art supplies, right? We want to be good artists, responsible artists. Put away your art supplies if you have any... Um, scrap paper that you need to recycle go ahead and take care of that and that's it um, have fun making your your paper houses and I want to thank everybody for joining me and if you want to see more of our episodes you can catch them on Facebook YouTube and Instagram thanks everybody have fun bye